it is. Physical Media Empire. And these are my knights of the round table. Whose castle is this? This is the castle of my master, Guido Luamba. Go and tell your master that we have been charged by God with a sacred quest. If he will give us food and shelter for the night, he can join us in our quest for the... Embercleave. Well, I'll ask him, but I don't think he'll be very keen. Uh, he's already got one, you see? What? He says they've already got one. Are you sure he's got one? Oh, yes, it's very nice. Uh, I told them we already got one. <laughs> well, um... Can we come up and have a look? Of course not! Damn! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel, Physical Media Empire, at PME Film. I'm Patrick. Hope you guys enjoyed my Secret Lair unboxing video that I did. Gonna do some more Magic the Gathering today. I'm very excited about this video. I got my buddy, my Stormtrooper here, and he has his authentic do-back. And that is not a 1990s do-back, that is, in fact, a vintage do-back, back when many people missed it in the original films, because it was just in the background, really, not as much as you could see it in those special editions. So, big ups to GameStop today. This video is certainly not endorsed by them, uh, even though that would be cool, but I'm definitely going to give them a shout-out, because I had seen online that they had a lot of booster packs, possibly for a discount, and I happened to stop at my local one, and believe it or not, the rumors are true. Magic the Gathering, Eldraine Boosters for $1.97. And I got six of them for a total of $12.56. So believe the hype. They had a ton of Theros Beyond Death booster packs, but those were still at the regular price. And the person at my GameStop said that those would actually be going down pretty soon as well. So if those go down to the discount price of $1.97, I'll probably be looking for some of those as well. Crack them open, share them with you guys. So I'm just taking some of these out of this cardboard pack. So if you buy booster packs at an LGS, they usually come from a draft booster box, so you'll kind of just buy them like this. But the big box stores, such as Target, Walmart, all that good stuff, they get them in these individually cardboard packs, and sometimes they have a plastic seal around them, and sometimes they don't. So we have six packs today to open, which is super cool, because Throne of Eldraine is actually one of my most favorite expansion sets. And I'm really hoping I get a Great Henge, or a Questing Beast. Alright, let's check it out, guys. We got Opt. Thrill of Possibility. Battered Cow. Like I said, this is one of my most favorite sets. It's got the adventure mechanic. I love the artwork. It's got a lot of great green and white cards, which I'm very prone to. Ginger Brute. So like I said, great, great set. And the Golden Egg. Idyllic Grange. So I want to be super excited if I get a Questing Beast or the Great Henge. Those are pretty much the two cards that I'm really, really looking for. Let's see what our rare is. Oh, an alternate art Love Struck Beast. Wow, so far, so good. Basic land and a token. Not a bad start, guys. So what are some of your favorite expansion sets? Comment below and let us know. Ogre Errant, True Love's Kiss. Do you guys remember the trailer for Throne of Eldraine when it came out with the gingerbread couple uh, trying to get away from, I think it might have been Garruk? That was a great trailer. Probably only second to the War of Spark trailer. War of the Spark. Reef Soul. And Fling, I love that artwork. That is... Lie... Setawan. Very nice. Wandermere, I've played that in a Celestia deck or two. Sir Alan the Lion's Claw, coming into our uncommons. And for our rare, we have Castle Ventress. I like these castle lands, I was a big fan of them. And a fairy token. So, no mythics yet. But we did get that alternate art. Love Struck Beast, I'll put this over by the dewback. Very cool. Okay. 
outflank. Didn't say please. I was actually test running a mill deck probably for the first time ever on Arena, and I was using that card to my advantage several times. We have more of the adventure mechanic. Tall as a beanstalk. Barrow witches. Very cool. Very cool. Weapon rack. Love artifacts. Would like to build an artifact slash equipment deck. That would be pretty cool. Ooh, Henge Walker. Very nice. And another Wander Mirror. Ooh, maybe we'll get a playset. Lock Dragon for all the Is It players out there. Giant Killer. And a basic land. Come on, Mythic. We got three more packs. Where is that questing beast? Okay. Outflank again. Oh, are we getting a duplicate pack? No. Smitten Swordmaster. Love this card. Dwarven Mine for a land. And the Paladin. Ginger Brute. Uh, another Trapped in the Tower. And another Golden Egg. And another Grange. Ooh, there we go. Enchanted Carriage for an Artifact Vehicle. The vehicle mechanic was pretty cool, I thought. A little complicated sometimes if you're trying to put some combos together, but... Oh, there we go. Fairy Vandal. Mirror Maid for our rare. And Order of Midnight for our foil. And a basic land. Okay. So Order of Midnight's pretty cool because he's a flying creature and he has that good adventure mechanic, but unfortunately he cannot block. Okay. Down to the last two packs. Tome Raider. Crystal Slipper for some artifact equipment. Malevol uh, Malevolent Noble. Almost stumbled over that one. Okay. Crashing Drawbridge. And another Tall as a Beanstalk. And a Weapon Rack. More Barrow Witches. Come on with the duplicates. Beloved Princess. Drown in the Lock for Demir players. Shepherd of the Flock. Thunderous Snapper. Very cool. Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig for our rare. And what we got? What we got? Oh, and we have a Foil Flaxen Intruder. That's a great card. Uh, I never really took too much time to look at this card, but when I finally started playing with it, if you ever get to create those three 2-2 two, two green bear uh, creature tokens, man, that is certainly a fun thing to pull off. And then you have three awesome bears to attack and block with. Also, when Flaxen Intruder hits damage to uh, the opponent, you can decide to sacrifice it and get rid of an artifact or an enchantment, which is pretty cool as well. So come on, this is the last pack. This is our last... Oh, cool, Wolf's Quarry. This is our last chance for that questing beast of the Great Henge. I bought the last six booster packs they had at my local GameStop. I really wish they had more for $1.97. I at least made, got our money back, or certainly the value for our money. That's for certain. Another crashing drawbridge. So, uh, oh man, we almost got a play set of Wandermares. That's either three or four. Sir Farron, the Henge Hammer. Uncommon. Burning Yard Trainer. And Oathsworn Knight for our rare. And let's see, this is our chance. No, basic land island and a food token. So like I said, Eldraine is one of my favorite sets, so I love these pulls anyway. What a great value uh, for less than $2 a booster pack. If you have a local GameStop, I don't know if they'll have them in stock. Uh, but they, if they do, they should have them at that discounted price. And like I said, they're going to be lowering the price on the Theros Beyond Death as well. So if there's some cards you're still looking for for that set, that would be a really great price to get some at. So I'm glad I was able to share that with you guys. Hope everyone's doing well out there in this crazy world. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.